Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a new video. And today I thought I'd provide you guys some tips and tricks that I've been using in Fortnite Nightmares, giving you guys some like guides on how to win near enough every time in it. And just basically kind of just having a little bit of fun in it, showing you guys what I do to get some easy wins in Fortnite Nightmares. Now, Fortnite Nightmares generally is quite an entertaining game mode. There's been a lot of negative reports on it, to be fair. I've seen so many people hating on it all around the internet because people just don't like the idea of the zombies and stuff. And I can see why. But why it's still in the game, I definitely think it is worth playing. Now, why do I say that? It's because I believe Fortnite Merge is actually really, really fun. And if you get yourself in the right position and you go to the right spot and get yourself the right loot, you can near enough win every single game using certain weapons. Now, in the gameplay you're watching now, me and Zepho LWR, that's his new name, we actually go in and land at this location just outside of Pleasant Park because it's very early. I think it was like the second day of the update and we thought, you know, we may as well land where the zombies are and try it out. And this is before the update actually got changed where less zombies spawn now. So less zombies do spawn in the later circles. So you've got more chance of not actually getting crushed by zombies, but there still are so many zombies in the smaller circles. So it's kind of frustrating, but I'll go over some tips and tricks you guys can use these zombies to your advantage. So here you can see me and Zephyr struggling for a weapon. I managed to get a weapon there from the, either the chest or the zombie. I can't remember what that was from. And we're simply just taking them out. I've still not 100% complete my challenge, but I'm basically at the end of it now. You can see in this gameplay, I will end up completing it. So I'm going to speed up the gameplay while we just grind through a load of these zombies. And simply what we've done is we've landed at this location at Pleasant, just because you can do this at any location. Just because, you know, you can get decent loot from these if you destroy them. And if you find a location where there's like three or four spawns, you're guaranteed to get probably at least two gold weapons, two legendary weapons. And that means you're going to have a good stand on the game. And you're probably going to guarantee your yourself a bunch of different stuff as well regarding to like shields and stuff like that so you pretty much set now the minigun to me is probably one of the best weapons on this game mode because it's very very useful against the zombies and it's very useful against players if they're getting chased down by zombies so you're going to see me using the minigun a lot in this game mode just because of how overpowered it is and how awesome it is but you can, again you can see us looting up here i used that port rift to see if anyone was around and went back down and collected another one and it's pretty easy to do so you see me there using a launch pad as well to go and try and save Zepho in this situation here and unfortunately that does not happen so I'm going to slow down the gameplay now for you guys and you'll notice I end up in a 1v1 so jumping into the gameplay Zepho has been taken out there wasn't really much going on there other than me trying to defend him but now it's a 1v2 situation now I know there's a bunch of zombies around and I can use them to my advantage to try and work out where players are I see a guy down there looks like he's looting up Zepho I just minigun him I love using the minigunning situations like that easy minigun kill Another guy in front of me, activate my minigun and take him out. Luckily, because we mined these zombie camps and we managed to take them out, we actually managed to get our hands on a decent minigun. Now, the gun only had one bullet in left, and luckily I got the kill, but I would have just switched to my free burst if I had to finish that guy off if my, say, my minigun ran out of ammo, and I did a pretty good job. So, give them a little floss, a little take the L, because that was a pretty awesome kind of clutch moment there from me. 2v1, understanding what guns I should use in the situation and taking them out. So, that's where it comes in handy all these zombie stuff and the zombie types of kind of games and i just think it's pretty awesome that you can go to a location and get your hands on some awesome loot so in this situation here i was running pretty low on hp i had to try and get into the circle as quick as possible so i used a launch pad to take advantage of the extra boost height and thankfully because of the launch pad i managed to do that well, guys as the game continues i decided to go into a bush here just to use my chug jug and just while we're at it guys if you guys haven't already gone and support me as a creator please do go and do that because every now and then i will shout out a bunch of people in random videos usually Usually it's once a day, but some days if I haven't had any tweets sent in recently, I just won't post a video on the shout outs. But basically what I've been doing is anyone who supports me as a creator and then buys an item or just wants to send me a picture on Twitter of you guys supporting me as a creator at Postbox Pat, I'll add you guys to a shout out in the video which is absolutely awesome. So if you haven't already gone and done that, please do to gain yourself a shout out in one of the videos at the start. It's really awesome. I highly recommend it. And I want to thank everybody for the support with that. Now I've been covering these tips and tricks videos since the start of Fortnite. And if I was to be honest, I am nowhere near as good as some of them pros that you do see in the tournaments and stuff like that. Now, obviously, if I wasn't a YouTuber and was probably like a full-time Twitch streamer or a full-time gamer or like something like that, then obviously I'd have a lot more time and I'd be a much better player than I am currently, which makes perfect sense to anyone out there. Like if you're looking at being a YouTuber, expect yourself not to be 
the best player in the world unless you're going to be like a full-time streamer streaming like eight hours a day like some of the top people and then you look at the people who compete in the esports they hardly upload to be like detail videos anyway to youtube that'll just upload simple gameplay they won't look into things like i do i look into tips and tricks and all that sort of stuff with storyline and stuff like that and i dive a little bit deeper into the game than most youtubers actually do so it's interesting and that's why you look at players like ali a and vic star for example people like that they're not the best player because they spend a lot of time editing they spend a lot of time working on uh, like video ideas and stuff like that now i don't personally watch vic star and sometimes i don't really well i used to watch ali a but i don't watch it as much now i know i'm talking about other youtubers which really isn't relevant at all and here you can just see me here having a complete snipe fight but i'm just trying to get the point across that my tips and tricks will help the average player but if you're probably classing yourself as better than me at fortnite or you're classing yourself as better above average like well above average like sort of like mlg pro level where you win near enough like every game then possibly this won't help you at all but you know i try my best to help everybody i can and then even if you're trying to learn little things that i'm doing here just using the minigun having fun it's all about having fun fortnite to me and that's the sort of tips and tricks i provide so i still want to get across but here you can see me again pushing people out with my minigun kind of just building above them suppressing them down i'm not like a professional builder but i can build fast enough to get above someone like that just keep on building up looking out for the player and what i'm doing here because of the new glider mode which will probably be turned off in the future but for now i've used it to escape and i've actually just retreated the fight which was kind of a newbie move but it's actually quite like, quite a good strategy really to use at this moment in time now having the ability of a grappler is pretty handy as well i know that they're going to be stuck in the storm and he's probably going to go for the res that guy because he had the situation to do it so what i'm doing is i'm locating myself on the edge knowing that he's going to come back through with a lot lower health i take out one of them and the second one comes in and i take out him as well it's probably one of the best techniques i've done in a while that the retreating technique is something you guys definitely want to do it's something that if you're not a professional player and you can't win every build fight or maybe there's two of them and you think you know you could catch them in the storm it's quite a good like move to use if you can push out of the storm quicker than them by building up high and using your glider a lot of the players are going to be a little bit confused and they're probably going to have to run through the storm because they haven't built up to use the glider or they may not have as enough mats to like sacrifice for that and then you can catch them as soon as they come through the storm obviously they're going to be at least 20 30 health lower and you're probably going to be able to take them both on in a 1v2 situation or even a 1v3 1v4 situation depending on how good you are personally with your aim and stuff like that. now i'm going to be providing an aim guide video for you guys soon you can see here i just got absolutely trashed by them zombies so what i did there is again escaped i was actually in a fight as well so getting out of there was pretty useful on extremely low health now guys so i have to be careful so i'm just kind of building myself up and what's really useful about this game mode is you can just build yourself up as high as you want in the game you've got nothing to worry about you could even go and build sky bases because there is no limit on this game mode this game mode is so overpowered because of the ability to glide at three stories high three like structures high you're near enough invincible here you can see me just checking if there's anything in that slot machine if i wanted anything but pushing around the map again using my minigun to take out these like kind of spawn point seeing if i can get any good weapons maybe a med kit or something like that and i'm taking out the the enemies or the zombies the cube monsters whatever you want to call them just getting a bunch of kills on them really quickly to grab myself some loot and again still on duos but playing solo and i'm doing pretty well so i get attacked from this angle i'm just simply building to get myself out of here again getting ready to deploy my glider easy easy guys just keep building if they shoot it down it's all good because i can deploy my glider getting myself in a position where i can kind of just escape really quickly i'm just thinking where do i move next on the map so he destroys it like that and i said you know on this mountain here because he's actually going to be down below me i get the opportunity to take him out but luckily these zombies bail from me and go and focus him and absolutely crush him in this end circle game so luckily them zombies got the kill for me there i didn't manage to get that fifth kill there the zombies actually got it for me but that's a good advantage you guys can use if you can outbuild the husks and make sure your structure is still pretty strong you're going to have quite a good advantage in most situations because obviously the player you're playing against is going to have a big ton of zombies running at them unless they're building up to the same height as you so it's quite a good technique you can use against average players but as we begin to keep moving on decide to quickly bandage up knowing that you know there's only four players left but probably an absolute ton of cube monsters so what i'm doing is i'm thinking you know heavy sniper could be pretty useful in this situation i've now got three golden guns i'm sticking with the minigun as my close range weapon and again getting rid of this spawn point here trying to get some access maybe to a slurp or something obviously it's quite 
quite a risky move because I'm kind of just leaving myself in the open. But it's useful to kind of do this because now I've got five minis. I've got some decent weapons. I've still got loads of ammo in my minigun. I'm just searching around to see if there is anything else that I could possibly grab to get myself the victory royale here. So only a few minutes left in this game now. We've only six players left. I thought that was actually only four. I read them wrong there, but it's all right. Only six players left. I'm kind of positioning myself on the edge of the circle. Understanding that I can use the glider at any moment is so useful, guys. You need to take advantage of that because technically the launch pad is useless now like having this ability makes a lot of things useless there's a few items that still still you can class as a good escape for example like the actual porter rift is still good for an escape instantly from the ground and then even the glider is still good in most situations but this is one of my first encounters with the golden zombie probably my, i think it was like my third or fourth encounter and i was going to test a few things out on him i decided to hit him with the heavy sniper to the head at 392 damage and it just did absolutely no damage to him so i'm just like oh no i need to reload this sniper and i thought to myself why am i even doing this i've got a minigun here guys let's just get the use out of that so I keep running and I'm thinking, wow, this thing is absolutely wrecking my structures. I see people fighting over there in the distance. I whip out my minigun and go, you know what, dude, you are going down. And I'm I'm like insanely firing this minigun to this zombie and it's just not going down at all. So I was hoping for good loot from this, but I think I only get a, I, get a, I actually get some decent loot to be fair. I get another portal rift, which is going to come in handy. And then I decide to drop my heavy sniper because the circle is getting a lot smaller now. And now I've got a minigun, grenade launcher and scar ready to go ready for the final few battles. So I'm lining myself up to get a good win here, guys. I know that I've got a very good chance. But just before we get into the victory point, I just want you guys to leave a comment down below if you've made it all the way to this point in the video. Comment down below, grenade launcher, and that will tell me if you guys have made it all the way, which would be absolutely awesome. So you can just comment down below, GR for short, if you want. Save spelling it all out. So just comment down below, GR, and that will tell me if you've made it right to the end of these tips and tricks. So I'm lining myself up, knowing the opponent's most likely going to be in the circle over there i've ended up with two porter rifts i'm debating taking the heavy sniper there yeah i decided no i've got my porter rift i activate it and now i can search exactly the location of the enemy now i have a good assumption that he's probably going to be around this island here but i can't 100 confirm it so i simply land up top i know he's down there somewhere because i can see the zombies go moving around so they're obviously going for something then i see a little bit of editing going on so i know i'm in a good position i've got absolute tons of height on me i know that i can't take fall damage even if he doesn't destroy the structures due to the recent update if that has been removed when you're when you're watching this video please do consider that you are probably going to die from fall damage up here because there is not much support on this building but i knew it doesn't matter fall damage in this game so i'm kind of in a position where i can take out a bunch of players if there were but there's only one player left so i decided to move over to salty springs now moving over to the edge of salty springs and i see the guy heading across there there's a few zombies after him so you can take advantage of this if zombies are attack attacking like an enemy or something what you can do is you can suppress at him to suppress his structures so he struggles to build against the zombies and he can't take on you and zombies and there you go guys i took him out with the minigun knowing that he would not be able to take on me and zombies he had a bunch of zombies after him he even had a gold brute which actually ended up not even attacking it. it was actually attacking the structures so he had a chance to win that game but i hope you guys have enjoyed don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe if you've made it all the way to the end comment down below gr for grenade launcher don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe if you're new around here and once again this is postbox pat signing out